Good morning everyone, it is Rachel, welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is another exciting exercise related video, Apple Watch related video. I have a few other videos like this on my channel, so I will definitely link those down below if you wanted to check them out. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some different workouts that I have been loving recently from different workout YouTubers that I watch and follow along with their workouts to going out and going on bike rides to finally doing yoga. So this morning I'm going to be doing some butt and ab and then like arm exercises. I've been slacking on this recently. I <laughs> I don't know. Usually I watch Netflix while exercising, but recently I haven't been in the mood to watch Netflix. I don't have any shows on Netflix that I'm watching. So then I don't work out which is very bad but instead I'm going to watch YouTube videos and like listen to podcasts things like that instead of watching Netflix so on the Apple watch I'm going to start with the high intensity interval training I'll use this one for like abs and butt but honestly, because my heart rate doesn't get up that high, this hit on the Apple Watch doesn't necessarily count all of your workout because my heart rate isn't getting up that high. So I'll work out for like 30 minutes. But on the Apple Watch, it only says 20, which sort of sucks. And then for ab workouts, I will click this one, the core training. Sometimes with the butt workouts, I will use these resistance bands. I got them from a resident assistant event in college. So like I say in my college related videos, go to your RA's events. If you want free things, it is so great. I got a lot of free stuff from those events and you can probably just find resistance bands online, but today I'm not going to be using them because I've been slacking on my exercises. So let's get started and I will see you all in voiceover land. So here I'm doing the Daisy Keach Quarantine Bubble Butt Workout. Typically every other day I'll switch off with the Daisy Keach Workout and then I'll do Pamela Reef Workouts on the other days. So today I'm doing the Daisy Keach Bubble Butt Workout and then a Daisy Keach Ab Workout. I'll have all these workout videos linked down below if you also wanted to check them out. I like Daisy's workouts because they're quite short. This one is 10 minutes and then the ab one I'm going to do is 8 minutes. They aren't like super, super difficult. So after you get used to them and you do them a couple times, then you know what's the next exercise that's going to come up in the set. And then on the other days, because I like to switch it up, I'll do the 15 minute booty workout by Pamela Reef. And then I'll also do Pamela Reef's 10 minute beginner ab workout. I like like these two workouts from her and I do like to switch between the Daisy workouts and the Pamela workouts because I don't know I felt like when I was just doing one of these women's workouts it sort of gets old after a while because you're only targeting the same area each time by doing the same workout over and over again so I do like to switch it up between the two so the workouts are similar but they are a little bit different so you're targeting different parts of your body by doing a similar kind of workout though. And then I also like to do these toned arm workouts, which I didn't show in this video because they're like standing workouts, so it's harder to film on camera. But I like to do this Karo Dar five minute toned arms workout. Honestly, it hurts so bad, even though it's only five minutes, which is insane. It hurts to lift your arms above your head after and they're sore, so that's a good workout. I've also been doing this five minute toned arms workout by Mad Fit and I like this one as well. Similar kind of thing, five minutes, it still hurts really, really bad. Oh, I am sweaty. So here I just paused the workout on my Apple Watch. I learned recently that you don't actually need to end this workout to start another, but if you go back to this screen and you press new, you can add another workout to the existing workout and so you don't need to end and start another. So I pressed new and then I'm going to pick the core workout. So this one and it'll just start again. Me and this helmet. So today we are going to go biking. We are going to do a 10 mile loop. So that is insane. Very exciting, but also 
considering I like sit all day, it's going to be very interesting, but I get to use the electric bike, so it'll definitely be way easier for me. <laughs> Less pedaling because it is electric, very nice. And so we are going to start the Apple Watch to check out this workout. So it is very hot, I am already sweating. Ugh. Here we have the electric bike. You barely have to pedal, it'll track everything as well and you go very, very fast. Outdoor cycle. And then we're going to say ready. Three, two, one. You can hear maybe the motor, but like, where is he? Way back there right now and I am just zipping way ahead. And so like this view, see, with my legs, I'll do like two, I'm off the course. I'll do like two, legs and then it's fine barely have to move or anything and it just like the motor does it all for you and so i don't even have to pedal really <laughs> i hit the pole is it my elbow in there yeah, i don't the think they're right there right there i just crashed gonna speed by barely pedaling look at you suffer ha 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 yeah I'm gonna go zip zam look at me go pit stop at the horsies so much room for horsey Hello, horsey. So we have finished the loop. Overall, it was 11.23 miles and it took an hour and a half basically. So I'll show you all the Apple Watch summary. So here on the Apple Watch fitness app that is on my phone on the screen, you can see all of the things that it tracked, the total time, the distance of the bike ride, the calories, elevation, heart rate, speed, everything like that. And then it's interesting at the bottom, you can see like the average heart rate and all of the lines going up and down based off of how hard we were biking, which for me, definitely my heart rate would be a lot lower because of the electric bike versus my dad having a regular bike gonna be quite difficult. So I find looking at these workouts on the Apple Watch app quite interesting. It also gives you a map of where we biked, but I'm not going to include that here, but it is cool if you did want to track where you're running or biking outdoors. Okay, so it is yoga time now. I am so excited because this is honestly the best part of the day. After doing nighttime bedtime yoga, I feel so relaxed and then I fall asleep so quickly and easily. It's so great. Gotta start the Apple Watch and go to the yoga goal. I've been doing these yoga with Adrian videos because she has a lot of short 10, 15 minute videos that are short and sweet, which I'm not sure if I can do 30 minute long workouts because I feel like, I don't know, a short attention span maybe. So I really like this neck, shoulders, and upper back workout, especially when I'm sitting all day for work. My neck hurts and my back hurts from sitting all day, which is really, really bad. So I think this yoga workout really helps to stretch out your back and you know get the muscles and blood flowing because sitting all day is not good for you and I love this wind down yoga 12 minute bedtime yoga so relaxing part of it is on the ground laying there and so it feels so good and it is nice just to zone out pay attention to my breathing not have any other like racing thoughts thinking about what I need to do the next day or what I didn't get done today any of those kinds of stressful thoughts right before bed so this is really nice to keep calm get your mind ready for bed and stretch out your body 
It is so relaxing and I think it is just a really good way to take some time for yourself where you aren't distracted by your phone, text messages, refreshing your social media pages. So I think it's helpful to clear your mind and just be present in the moment. And we also had a kitty guest star. So yeah, these were some of my favorite workouts, workouts that I have been doing, loving recently. Definitely let me know in the comments if you all try any of these workouts, what your thoughts are. Do you like them? Do you see results? Are they relaxing for the yoga ones? Other workouts, uh, not so much. They're a little bit difficult and tiring. But definitely if you do try, let me know. I'm super interested or also if you have any workouts you think I should try that you have liked definitely leave a comment down below but yeah thank you all so much for watching it really means a lot make sure you like this video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me thanks so much again and I will see you all next time